In this video, we will find out how we can make our product detail pages even more individual with our shopping experiences. You can find the shopping experiences under the point content in your dashboard. After clicking on shopping experiences, your dashboard collapses automatically. So we have even more space for our designer. Here you can see our already existing layouts. You can see our shop pages, landing pages, category pages or product pages. And if we want to create a new layout now, we just have to click on create new layout up here. In this step, we see all the different layout types and we have to choose which kind of page we would like to create. So in our case, this would be the product page. Shopping experiences are built with sections and sections divide your working space into areas so that you can be more creative then. Uh, you can move, delete or combine these sections at any time. So in this step, we just have to choose with which type of section we want to start with. This is where you label your new layout. So just type in the name here and click on create layout. After that, we get to the standard product page layout. You can see the different sections and the different blocks. So this is the point where you can get creative now. The standard product page is divided into four sections. Um, you can find them in the navigator on the right. And here you can see the default layout sections. So we have the product heading here, the gallery buy box. Um, the gallery buy box is the overview of the product images and the yeah, buy box option where you can define your add to cart button or things like that. Then we have the product description review section, which is just below the gallery buy box. And last but not least, we have the cross selling bar uh, section. So the cross selling section is a slider where you can see or define all the products which have been added to your product above. Now we know what the default layout sections are. So let's have a look what we can do with them. Starting in the navigator, we can swap the sections around. So we could say that the cross selling section should be below the product heading. Or we can say that the product description reviews should be above the gallery buy box. If you want another gallery buy box, you can easily just click on the duplicate button here. If you want to delete a section, just click here. So in our case, we want the gallery buy box below the product heading and we don't want the cross selling section because we don't have any cross selling products here. What we now need is a preview entity. The preview entity is not the final assignment of a product. This is just used as a preview so you can um, work with your configuration in the shopping experiences. You can find it in the settings on the preview entity. So you just select your product here and you can see that the basic information of your product uh, being displayed in the by gallery buy box section. We've now set all the basic information of the product. Um, what we still need is a product image. Click on the cog wheel here and you get to the element settings. You can upload files or you can open media. But you can also map data. So if you click on data mapping, you can add or map the data of the product. So if we map the data of the product media, 
This shows us all images which are assigned to the product. In the settings, um, you can uh, change the display mode from standard to cover or contain. You can edit the minimum height, um, the vertical align, the arrow nav navigation and the dot navigation, or you can also change the preview navigation. Down here you've got the possibility to uh, yeah, switch from zoom or no zoom. Zoom means that when a customer hovers over the image, uh, it gets or the customer gets a, a zoom image um, above the normal image. And you can uh, say if you want a full screen gallery or not. I find our product page already looks very good. But let's add a few more things. I think we could add another image at the top. So for that, just click on the plus here. And here you can add new blocks. In our case, this would be an image, an image box, and use the drag and drop to, yeah, put the image wherever you want. So I'll put it at the top here. And again, click on the cogwheel to select your media. You can upload a file or open your media. And because I already uploaded a media, an image, um, I will do this, add media, done. So now we've got another image at the top here. I also think that we could do with a text below the image instead of the heading. So first I'll just delete the product heading and add a text. Use this one and add it below the image. Here I can change the text. So this is a test. And I think I don't want the product description reviews anymore. So I'll delete that as well. You see, with these shopping experiences, you can be really creative and you don't have to rely on a rigid layout. You can also swap the single elements and you just click on this button here and if you don't want the product slider anymore and want an image instead just click on the image and yeah assign an image to this block then and you see this is very easy. Last but not least, I want to show you how you add another section. For this, you've got the plus button up here and down here. By clicking it, you have to decide if you want the sidebar or the full width uh, section. So I'll take the sidebar section and you can add your blocks over the block settings. So I'll take the cross-selling element and for our sidebar, I'll use the navigation. And that's it. You see, everything is really easy and our product page really looks good. And I think we can save our product page now. It's important to know that you can do this with every product. So you can say that every product gets its own individual product page, or you can assign this layout to multiple products. So let's have a look how we assign this layout to multiple products. Click on layout assignment, assign layout. And in this pop-up, you can yeah, search and assign your products. 
So I will take our craft beer and for example our root beer and when you click on apply you applied your layout to these chosen products. Now you can click on save and this pop-up reminds you that some elements are missing. In our case it's the product description and reviews um, element but you can uh, save the layout anyway. So once we saved our layout, let's have a look how it looks in the storefront. Now we are in the storefront and in the category beer, we can find our product craft beer with our previously created layout. Here you can see our image element. Below that we have our text element with the created text test. And last but not least, we've got the product buy box with the product image or images and our buying options. You see, creating a shopping experience with a product page layout is very, very easy. So give yourself a try and be creative. <laughs>